there was a time <laughs> uh, in the past when uh, children could be children and, in, uh, and enjoy and use uh, their own talents to entertain themselves. Well, curiosity with a capital S seems a bit strange for a school teacher. <laughs> um, the main characters in this book are, are uh, a brother and a sister. The brother is older. His name is Stan, and Stan is so curious that he gets himself, in, in, himself into all kinds of situations. Sometimes they're dangerous, sometimes they're funny. And his little sister goes along with, uh, right along with him because she just adores him and she ends up in all the situations as well. But since Stan is so curious, I thought the uh, curiosity with a capital S for Stan uh, made a very good title. Uh, curiosity with a capital S was based on uh, my experience and my brother's experience uh, during World War II when we were youngsters. And my father was uh, in the Navy, and he was based at Paris Island, South Carolina. We had a hard time finding a place to live when we first got there. We spent six weeks in a hotel because no housing was available. Until finally, uh, my father came home saying, we have a place to live. Uh, I have rented a place, a summer cottage on Ladies Island, and we had lots lots of adventures there. We had come from Oklahoma, so uh, the water was just really all new to us, so we had much to discover. Well, I truly like them all, uh, all the stories, but uh, probably my favorite would be uh, the adventure when a barge got loose and um, hit the bridge and the bridge collapsed, and the bridge was the only access uh, to the mainland that we had. There were no grocery stores available on the uh, island. Uh, of course, we could not get to school because, <laughs> because we went to school on the mainland. And um, my father, uh, they sent a, a patrol boat for my father for people who worked. So we were kind of uh, left there on our own. And uh, it was kind of an exciting time. We felt like we were adventurers. The book has an old-fashioned tone and feel to it, and uh, truly we wanted something uh, in, in the way of illustrations that kept that tone and feel to it. We came across Ted Enoch, who uh, is well known in children's literature. He's done things like The Magic School Bus and uh, the series of Eloise and just finished the series of uh, Fancy Nancy. So he said he liked the book and he would like to illustrate it, and we were thrilled in hopes that teachers will take this and use it either as a, a, a novel study or uh, simply to read it to the children and integrate uh, a history lesson with it. Uh, the history lesson, of course, uh, is during the World War II era, 1940s, and um, we are writing a teacher's guide that will be available online so teachers can uh, utilize that to in integrate a history lesson with uh, the story. <laughs>